This is not about freedom or personal choice. The president takes on the unvaccinated. I understand your anger at those who haven't gotten vaccinated. The president targeting businesses. We must increase vaccinations among the unvaccinated with new vaccination requirements. Entertainment venues. Please require folks to get vaccinated. And schools. I'm calling on all governors to require vaccination for all teachers and staff. Plus, a final appeal to the unvaccinated. What more is there to wait for? The new vaccine requirements will impact as many as 100 million Americans. The new rules apply to businesses with more than 100 workers. Employees who refuse to get vaccinated have to be tested once a week. 17 million healthcare workers across the country will also be required to get the shots. Federal workers in the executive branch and contractors who do business with the federal government will also have to abide by the new policy. And we do have live team coverage on how this new mandate is going to impact people the most. Let's begin with Fox 35's Danielle Lama. So, Danielle, what are business owners saying about this new policy? Well, you guys mentioned it. This policy could make a huge impact on the workforce. And so now companies are bracing to see whether it'll improve operations or cause people to quit. This is a pandemic of the unvaccinated. The reaction to this speech has been swift. I don't like it. I think it's probably a smart move just given how the pandemic's been going. President Joe Biden announcing today that companies with more than 100 employees will be required to mandate the vaccine or do weekly COVID testing. The mandate policy is great. I'm, I'm definitely supporting it. Interessant Hotel and Resort Management runs 75 hotels across the country, including this Sheraton in Orlando. They have 4,500 employees. The CEO stands behind the president's decision. I think the mandating vaccination is very important. I mean, that's the only way to go at this time. We reached out to other business leaders in the Orlando area. Some told us they're worried about forcing their employees to get vaccinated and that the testing requirement will be a burden on owners. But I really feel like it's going to cause people to not work. And we already have a lapse in companies not having people, you know, apply for jobs or even come back to work. We'll have to wait and see how this all plays out as the nationwide debate over COVID vaccines rages on. I think it's good. You should get the vaccine. But uh, I mean, once the government tells you you have to get it, a lot of people are just going to be like, nah. Well, companies that don't follow this rule could be looking at a $14,000 fine from OSHA. Reporting live in Orlando tonight, Danielle Lama, Fox 35 News. One local entertainment venue is already making changes to, uh, to its policy for guests. We continue our team coverage tonight with Fox 35 Samantha Sosa, who joins us live outside the Dr. Phillips Center. So, Sam, what will guests need to do to get in? Hey, well, outdoors, they should be fine. But once you're inside, folks who come to the Dr. Phillips Center will either have to show a negative COVID test or their vaccination card. Now, the Dr. Phillips Center tells me that this decision had been in the works for a few weeks now, actually. So it's just a coincidence that this is happening at the same time as the president's announcement. Me being an entertainer personally um, as well, it, it, it was a, it was it's been a very, very hard year. Live entertainment, an industry that has certainly taken a huge hit because of the pandemic. That's why some local entertainers are welcoming a new rule at the Dr. Phillips Performing Arts Center requiring a negative COVID test to get in or guests can show proof of their vaccination status. And I think it's very important to get art to get arts happening again and to get shows happening again. People need to be able to feel safe inside of the theaters and I think this is the best way to do that. The policy applies to guests 12 and up. If you're going to show proof of vaccination, your final dose should be at least 14 days before the show you're attending. I wouldn't mind because I've already been vaccinated. The announcement comes just as President Joe Biden made this plea. To those of you running large entertainment venues, from sports arenas to concert venues to movie theaters, please require folks to get vaccinated or show a negative test as a condition of entry. Some are glad the decision was left up to venues. Presidents make recommendations about a lot of things like health care and other stuff, but a business should be able to make their own decision about whether they want people to come in their business or not. That being said, Tevin Kennedy fully supports businesses that decide to require vaccine proof or COVID test results. 
it is your right to not be vaccinated, but it's their property. You can't just walk onto people's property without following their rules. So this new rule will kick in on October 1st. If you've already purchased a ticket to a show after that and you don't want to follow this rule, you can get a full refund. For now, I'm live in downtown Orlando. Samantha Sosa, Fox 35 News. Samantha, thank you. The president also taking aim at school districts and governors who have banned school officials from mandating students wear masks. Right now, local school officials are trying to keep children safe in a pandemic while their governor picks a fight with them and even threatens their salaries or their jobs. Talk about bullying the schools. If they'll not help, if these governors won't help us beat the pandemic, I'll use my power as president to get them out of the way. A judge struck down Florida's ban on mask mandates in school while the appeals process plays out. So that means districts are able to institute mask mandates if they choose. Reaction is pouring in on social media tonight. State Representative Anthony Sabatini says a special session needs to be called to nullify the president's vaccine mandates. Florida Agriculture Commissioner and candidate for governor Nikki Freed sent out a tweet where she thanked the president. Senator Rick Scott says this is what you get electing people who support socialism. They want government controlling, compelling, and mandating what people do. And Representative Darren Soto says the pandemic of the unvaccinated is putting our kids at risk and hurting the economy. We have more on the president's address today. Just click on this story on our website, fox35orlando.com. You can also follow along on the Fox 35 News app.